Hi everyone, in this video I'm going to give my first impressions on the new Search Console Insights interface that we've got. So this is in beta at the moment and this is something that basically combines Google Search Console and Google Analytics to give you a very nice overview of how your site is performing um, but in a way that's more easier to kind of understand. So let's kind of go through it. So over here, we can choose the domain that we um, have ownership of, and we can see right off the bat the all-time page views uh, that this website has had. And then we get a 28-day overview of the past 28 days in terms of the page views and the average page view duration. And it will also be able to compare it as well to the previous 28-day period. And if you've got any new content that's pushed out um, and that you've uploaded in the past month, it will show it here. Um, then it shows you in the past month what your most popular content pieces are. Um, and for example, here we can see that there's a kind of uh, feature or thing that shows up saying high average duration. Um, and when we click on any of these posts, we'll get a detailed breakdown over the last month. And this is always going to be, I think, the past 28 days. I didn't really see an option to change this. Um, and we can see the all time views that this particular page has had. Um, similar things to what we saw in the site overview here. But then this is where it gets quite funky, where we can see the top traffic channels. Um, and when we scroll down here, we can see as well if there are any keywords that you're ranking for. Um, so at the moment, says no data available. This may update in the future. We also find the top referring links, which is quite interesting. Uh, and this is useful for people who might not have access to certain uh, kind of backlink um, tools like Ahrefs or SEMrush, where you can see the top referring domains that have linked to you and which pages they've linked to you from. So we can see how many views it's gotten from there and also the average view duration from these sources. Uh, and you can keep scrolling through um, as well to see more. But when you click here, you can also see the newest referring links as well, if you want to see which ones were the most uh, frequent. So that's very interesting as well. And when we scroll down, we can see some social media insights in terms of where people access your page on different social media platforms in the past month. And then you can also, uh, well, it's telling you that you can see the, the kind of full story with Google Analytics and Google Search Console. But this is kind of used to bring them all together in a way that's just very simple, quick, easy to be able to analyze how your website is performing as well. So when we've got the top traffic channels here again, we're back to the site overview. We go down, we can see the kind of search terms that people find you. So either the most search queries, or we can take a look at the uh, most trending queries as well. So you can filter between them and we go down. And again, we've got the referring links to the website um, in the past 28 days. So this is pretty much the same. Uh, the views is exactly the same, whether you are in the kind of site overview or whether you're going into particular uh, pages on your website, still going to show you the same things. But this is just like I said, a very quick and easy way to analyze your content on your website and your pages and see how they're doing. And it's mixing in data from Search Console, like the, the queries, clicks, um, and then it's also got the Google Analytics information in there as well in terms of the sources of the traffic and also the behavioral metrics as well. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did leave a like rating below, that would really help me out. And if you haven't already subscribed, make sure that you do for future SEO video content. So thank you so much for watching. I've been Itamar Blauer and I'll see you in the next video. Hey. You've reached the end of this video, but don't worry, there's plenty more great content that you can watch right now. All you have to do is click one of the two video links on the left side of the screen. And also, if you haven't already, make sure to subscribe and turn on the notification bell to never miss out on future uploads.